accessories. It's probably like round four for this thing. Oh, for modular game table accessories? Yeah. I'm hoping for a relaunch in August. The accessories we're developing, I'd like to get them for sale actually to our existing backers as quickly as possible. All these items that we're looking at, I'm hoping we can actually push these into production, get them up on backer kit, and allow our existing MGT backers to pledge for them and get them before the next Kickstarter. Interesting. So. That'd be fun. Yeah. This is so nice. Okay. Where did we get that chair? Yeah, what the hell is this? Another one over there, too. It's just showing up. Yeah. Does anybody know how, where we got this? It's beauty. Modular game table accessories. <laughs> okay, Sensei. Yeah, left cover's right, always. Yeah. Why? That's the way your gi goes. Left cover's right. But is there like a Sith version? Where it's like <laughs> right cover's <laughs> left? Wait, no, actually, so when you bow, you turn your hands. This means respect. If you were actually to do this, that oh. means disrespect. Are you sure about all this? You're, it's like the people that have like the Asian character tattoos, but they don't know how to read it. And it's like, you don't know what the fuck is yeah. written on you. Like, you don't, like, like it that could says be. That power. It's like, no, that says penis. <laughs> <laughs> Bennett. Walk us through the new accessories you're developing. We got lots of stuff. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff. Damn. Cup holder, small cup holder. I slapped on a different profile to make it modular like the component organizer that we also have. A lot of our accessories have this profile, which is what we started with. And then we made the modular organizers and they can flip over. We can do it on the table actually. Yep. So it's like this can go on that side, can go on this side. And now we have a cup holder that can do that. Because before, nice. all we had was cup holders here, but now we have a cup holder that can add on. So that's kind of an easy, simple add-on. Yeah, and like I said, we're gonna try to get these into production as quickly as possible. I would like the existing MGT backers to have an opportunity to pledge for these and get them even before we open up MGT 2.0. Do we want to do a modular, large cup holder? Oh. Oh. We could. We could. I don't see why we wouldn't. It'll be like this. Oh, right. right if you have right. the larger one that's modular, you'll have like a little nubby. This is card shelf 2.0. Jesus Christ. How many cards does one actually need? It's this holds a so nuts. much. If I cut this in half, is that still plenty of capacity for someone who's playing D&D or like, mm -hmm. Uh, so depending on where you put it, you might lose a slot or yeah. two. If you put mm -hmm. it on your player desk, you're gonna lose two or three slots. Or three. Yeah. So it's like, instead of just having this big empty space, I'm like, fuck it, just put in an extra one. So if you have it in here, you've got tons of yeah. room for whatever you're playing. What about taking each of these lines and adding curvature to it that matches the top curvature? The reason I didn't is with that being able to be put different places, that curve doesn't change. This would, they would be curved oh, this way, yeah, yeah, but yeah. if I put it this right. way, they would still be curved uh, yeah, yeah, this yeah, yeah. way. Oh, that's how curves work. Yeah. <laughs> if we had this format shorter and maybe a little bit longer with the curves, that is the best product. The downside is it can only work in the table. The other card accessory also worked on the inside. It only works it on only the inside. Works. This isn't even a delineation. You want to do the, you want to do mm. the, uh, the, uh, the hobby shelf. So this is the base model hobby tray what are we calling this oh shiitake mushrooms i like this we're sort of starting to mess around with the ends because we can start adding yes the accessories mm -hmm. pencil holder pencil holder here's an idea we had for that's adorable a tracker i love this like, then we and have then like the silicone right in. inserts and then we have the end caps that we can kind of do whatever we want with i think we're 100 percent on the right path this is compelling yeah like starts getting pretty cool like this is actually That's like, nice. I think this is actually what we were missing. This feels good. This is gonna make Modular Game Table 2.0 really compelling. And all our existing customers are gonna love it. I was not sold on like the end caps, but now seeing the variants of the end caps, yes. I love that. You wanna grab the modular stuff, Doug? It starts getting really cool. Yeah, now the, the <laughs> it's like they're all coming together. Yeah. You can basically build your own player desk. And I really oh, think we need the rail in the front. No. <laughs> <laughs> the rail that you can clip a player desk into. This is better than the tracker that we have now. Yeah. 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 It doesn't need like a whole piece. It's like, oh, I've got my little tracker over here. So I love that it's a little like addition to a product. Yeah. This yeah. is getting super compelling. And it works now, we on were the talking, we well. were talking about the corner rolling tray. Instead of having the corner rolling tray be what we have. This was Bennett's idea. So which, I actually can't. This, so oh, you're while, doing, while doing this, I look over and I see that really terrifyingly complicated the tray. The tray. So I'm thinking, 
fuck it, why not just make it square and even click into these? Then it would have like this nice little point here. Yeah. You have t a little more surface area than that one. It, Way it, easier to make. A lot easier to make. Yeah. All right. I think that's it. I feel like we're Gucci. Fuck all those other things. Now we just have to come up with a name for it. I like the hobby tray. I think the people like the toolbar the most. Toolbar. Tool toolbar. That's actually kind of fun. The MGT that was, toolbar. That that's really good. Toolbar. So yeah, we'll come up with this. This will be the modular tool toolbar system, and we'll have like the toolbar rolling tray, toolbar end caps, toolbar toolbar tracker inserts, toolbar inserts. Ooh. It's like there's a system within the system now. Bingo. It's, bingo. Yeah. Bingo. We have a guy. Convention, Justin. Yeah. Trying to take my fucking job. Whoa! <laughs> it's a deck box idea. It is, yeah. and it's actually... Yeah. It's actually good. It's a good one. Mac came to me and he was just like, yo, we were working on like a little idea. And I was like, all right, everyone's got ideas. They were like, no, Jason's on board and he likes it. And I'm like, well... Really? <laughs> you couldn't find any magic cards? I got like a, a pack of un... Sleeved ones, but I can bring a deck in tomorrow Unsleeved. if you want. Unsleeved? I have a deck up at my desk. Did not realize Sleeved we need cards? It. Yeah. All right. Power <laughs> of editing. <laughs> <laughs> so, why did you do this design? Why did you do this design stuff? So I didn't know what to do with my arms. Um, when I play Magic, apparently I'm clumsy and I just knock my deck over. I needed something to like hold my deck while I'm playing, so I thought of the tray originally. And actually, then... where's the alpha version? I didn't bring it. <laughs> Go get it. It's at my apartment. Fuck! <laughs> Go get it! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jason, come on over here. So this this is what got pitched to me, knowing I was the first opponent you'd have to defeat in order to get to the final boss. I'm like a mini boss. Ah, you're a softie. <laughs> I am! I get excited. I have too much hope and optimism. Jason's killed all that. You just... <laughs> this is a deck tribe. Yep. A nice Wormwood logo on that. It looks nice. No, it's a yeah. legitimate prototype. My, my initial impulse was, this is pretty cool. I don't know how popular it would be, just because people that are into like Magic the Gathering, they spend all their money on magic cards. They like don't buy products. <laughs> and then I shot over to Jason. It's kind of funky the inside, which the idea, Justin, correct me if I'm wrong, the, the deck box like oh, fits yeah. Yeah, in here. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, we we like, you have like the strap oh. that has its own little thing. Yeah, so you can see the button in the front, which I kind of like. So it's like kind of cool, but the inside's a little weird. Yeah. So it's like, ah, it's like a half-baked product. And then we were like, oh, if we could just use the deck box as the draw pile, right. that would be the ultimate. We all agreed that if we had a cutout in the front that you could draw your cards out of, we wouldn't really want like the cards exposed in there. Right. That's when I came up with this. Whoa. So I cut the street piece out and Woo. glued it back to the lid, and it's dual purpose. So when I snap it to the side, so you can stand it Ooh. just like that. It doesn't rock at all. So now I can draw cards yes. here. Yep. Great. Jason's never seen this. Nope. I've seen this. What well, is your? It's really nice that it's tilted back. Yeah. So I, my, I mean, my initial no, thought no, is that's no, gonna no, snap no, off with that. two seconds flat, and it's glued on like the wrong way. You have like this grain going this way, this grain going that way. Structurally, there's nothing holding it on. What? 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 If this was a separate like piece of brass with two or three or maybe a series of pins. When this is getting CNC'd out, it would put, say, some holes, and then it would get glued down. And it just all the right coolness in. of the, like, continuous grain. Nope, I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> do we even want to do this? I do think we could get to a better deck box. Yeah. Is that worth our design bandwidth? Me and Ben had already worked on this two minutes after we talked about it last time. Sometimes the best part is no part at all. That's kick-ass. It looks way better. But sometimes the compromise of trying to make something work and like cramming it in, yeah. it's like, whoa, what if we just literally didn't do any a part that. at yeah. all and you still get all the functionality this in, is in every way product. possible. But it's a production nightmare. Almost, yeah. yeah. You thought that part of the reason the deck box didn't sell is because they weren't innovative at all. It's just a box. Yeah. So like, there's your innovation. That's the innovation. Yeah. Yeah. So there it is. <laughs> but, I know for a fact we can make a bunch of them at a price point people will be willing to spend. So you're you're on team plagiarize from Justin. Yeah. <laughs> Just take all his ideas, yeah. claim them as your own, then make this the official 
deck box design with a little asterisk for uh, Justin as uh, co-designer. Just a little, <laughs> it's a little asterisk. I'm leaning towards that one. Is this now the official deck box design? I think so. I think it adds. I think it just adds another layer on top of the non-glued top. That's nice. It made the design better. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Sweet rig. Yeah. Look at this thing. Can I touch it? Yep. So if I touch it with my fingers, does it do anything? Oh yes, it does. So does that mean when you're using your like pencil, you have to like be above it? Cause like, I want to like rest, but yeah. like won't that interact with it? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real thing. It's mainly for so you're not sweating all over your tablet. I mean, it looks ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>